New developments now the public got a chance to see King Charles for the first time since his cancer diagnosis. A car carrying King Charles and Queen Camilla left Clarence House today. Earlier, a car carrying Prince Harry arrived at the royal residence. The King's health revelation came just after a week. He left the hospital following treatment for a non-cancerous enlarged prostate. It was then that doctors discovered what Buckingham Palace describes as a separate issue. This will be something he's not used to. I think he will be stoic about it. I think he will do what the doctors are asking him to do. Many in London are hoping the King's cancer battle leads to a reconciliation between the Duke of Sussex and the royal family. Prince Harry is no longer a working royal, so he is not expected to take up royal duties. The public face of the monarchy falls to the heir of the throne, Prince William, returning to full-time duty himself after caring for his wife, the Princess of Wales, after she underwent abdominal surgery last month. Concerns after a grocery store announced it's closing its doors and relocating. Here's why. Some people in Elyria say the new location is just too far and is actually going to create a food desert in the old neighborhood. First at four, see New Yorker getting reaction from the community. They say when one door closes, another one opens. And that's the case here in Elyria, where this Aldi on Oberlin Road is closing up shop and moving to another location on Chestnut Ridge Road. The new Aldi is about three and a half miles away, which is causing some concern. Some tell me that it's too far for the people who live in this neighborhood. I'm not really happy about it at all. I caught up with this man, Robert Nicely, who tells me he's been coming to this Aldi for almost 30 years, and he typically rides his bicycle. It's convenient to all the people who live around here. The apartments on Oberlin Road and all those places up there. A lot of, a lot of people push their uh, carts down here and then push it all the way back to their house. Some people worry about the access to fresh food in this area and tell me they hope the folks can get over to the new store. Mayor Kevin Brubaker was not available to go on camera, but says he's aware of the issues and he's working with others to put a grocery store in this location to serve the people. He tells me he has meetings scheduled later this week. In the meantime, this is the last day for business here at this location. The new Aldi opens for business on Wednesday. Going to miss our Aldi's over here. Reporting in Elyria, CN New Yorker, 19 News.